Where is the logic in the geologic column? The geologic column, as you probably know, is the idea that there are layers of rocks that have developed over millions and millions of years. It's interesting that really the only place where you can ever see the complete geologic column in one piece is in science textbooks. Nevertheless, it has to be conceded that there are layers of rocks in different parts of the world that comprise small portions of what some people refer to as the geologic column. Could these have formed over millions of years? Scientists have, have dated these, haven't they? Well, actually, no. The sedimentary layers are not susceptible to radiometric dating, even if radiometric dating wasn't so problematic because of the presuppositions used in the calculations. Actually, the dates were assigned to these rocks before radiometric dating was actually invented. They were assigned by old earth geologists like Charles Lyell and others who looked at the rocks and guessed that a certain depth of rock would require so many millions of years to form. And yet we do find that layers contain certain groups of creatures in the same place. For example, layers will typically contain both dinosaurs and gymnosperm plants. Why is that? Is it to do with them being from one era of time, whereas another layer that contains mammals and angiosperms or flowering plants is from a, a different era? Not necessarily. There is, of course, a different explanation. Creationists have a couple of different explanations, and we don't know necessarily which one is true, but here's one possible explanation that I like. It's perfectly possible that these things could actually be ecosystems. In other words, dinosaurs happened to live in areas of the pre-flood world where there were forests of gymnosperm plants. And mammals happened to live in areas of the pre-flood world where there were flowering plants. So naturally, as the flood waters rose and encased these areas, they would encase them with the organisms that they lived with. And if we also assume that the dinosaurs were at lower altitudes than the mammals, then they would have been sedimented first and would therefore appear in lower levels than the mammals. Now I'm not saying that's a definite answer, but I'm saying it's a good model and it's possible to make that model more sophisticated. It is, however, a model that helps us to understand the geologic column. There could be logic in the portions of the geologic column that we have, and we do not ne necessarily need to go along with the evolutionary models. In particular, we are not going to go along with the millions of years idea that is not allowed for in Scripture.